The Pacific Northwest is home to some of the most dangerous volcanoes in the country, and scientists say we are not paying nearly enough attention to them. Mount Hood, in our own backyard, could soon get some much needed new monitoring systems, but a critical project seven years in the making has now been delayed another year. This is one of the fiberglass enclosures that we're going to be installing at each site. They may not look like much sitting on a flatbed truck, but these three digital monitoring stations could be key to getting a life-saving heads up before Mount Hood erupts. We want to make sure that Mount Hood has the level of monitoring that is um, sufficient enough for the hazards that it poses. Hazards like an eruption that could send volcanic mud flows sliding down onto ski resorts, highways, and rivers, and blanket the area in plumes of toxic ash, threatening nearby communities and air travel in and out of PDX. The impacts could be devastating, which is why geophysicists like Benjamin Pock say the more warning we have, the better. The best way to do that is with monitoring stations anchored to the ground around Mount Hood that can tell if the volcano starts to swell. So as magma moves in from depth into the volcano, the volcano itself is going to inflate, kind of like a balloon. Those GPS receivers are going to move away from one another. And they're sensitive enough to feel that, even if it's only a few centimeters. These red triangles are our existing seismometers. The yellow triangles are the new stations the USGS wants to install. They're on the west, north, and east faces of the mountain in a protected wilderness area. That has made this process much more difficult. It requires installing and in, in putting in um, new equipment into the wilderness. And the most, the quickest and the most efficient way to do so is using a helicopter. Not allowed without special permit from the Forest Service. The team filed their first permit back in 2014. After five years of review and public comment, they were finally given permission this August. Then nature posed another problem. They waited until after Labor Day, avoiding nesting birds and the busy summer tourist season. But an unusually cold, wet September meant the team wasn't able to get it done this year before snow set in. Now they wait for next fall and hope the mountain stays quiet for another year. We feel we need to have these instruments in the ground before activity starts. If there was a small uptick in activity and we didn't have a sufficient monitoring network in it, we'd be putting ourselves in a, a situation where we're playing catch up. So we're, we'd have to go in there after it's too late. Well, with these new installs, Mount Hood will have 11 seismic monitoring stations. It's about the same as what they have on Mount Rainier, but far short of St. Helens, which has 21. Pauk says the team scouted sites that are pretty far off any trails, so after they're installed, they'll run on solar-powered batteries and be out of the way of most hikers enjoying the wilderness area.